Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new League of Legends video. This is a video I am pretty excited about because I will be talking about Varus mid. So we already have seen Varus mid being played in the LCS for instance by Unicorns of Love, we've seen Faker played and many other professionals. But even then, this is something I've always looked at as being, why would I want to play this? I mean, why would I want to play AD Varus mid, you know, using his Q as a spellcast and as the poke ability when I could just play something like Zerath. So I've personally always looked down upon AD Varus mid, until one time a few weeks ago I actually played against an AD Varus mid as a Zed player and as being the Zed I expected to absolutely demolish him in the laning phase but to my surprise it was so much more difficult than I ever thought it would be. And then a while after I ended up trying it out myself and oh my goodness I was so pleasantly surprised. I mean something that I've always thought was really not that good and there's just so many better options probably to fit the same type of playstyle ended up being so pleasantly surprising to me that it's probably one of my favorite things to play right now. So as usual guys throughout this video I'll be going going through the builds, the runes, the masteries, and all of that good stuff, the positives, the cons, and hopefully after you see this video, you try this out because trust me, this is something you have to try yourself to really understand just how strong it is. And finally, with all that introduction blah blah stuff out of the way, let us go into the positives of Spellcaster AD Varus mid. So the biggest thing that caught my surprise as to it being just so exceptionally strong is the fact that not only is he played as a poke champion and a very strong one at that because his Q range is actually higher than Zara's Q range and the damage on it as you see right here is absolutely absurd as long as of course you are not behind but the beautiful thing is the fact that as the game continues into late game you start playing as an ADC champion as well being able to dish out so much damage with your auto attacks on top of your Q and with that if someone ever finally actually gets to you chilling in the back throwing your Q's all over the enemy team you're still pretty strong in terms of dueling especially once you get your Yomus so he has almost like the best of both worlds a very very strong and long range poke with great wave clear and also the potential to play like a true ADC. He also has a surprisingly durable laning phase where he really is harder to kill than you would think while also being very strong. He's very easy to farm with, he has good poke, but the only problem is the fact that he is somewhat easy to gank. Another very big positive of playing AD Spellcaster Varus mid is the fact that yeah, I mean most of your damage is AD, however, the W passive damage not only being percentage, it's also magic damage and your ultimate is magic damage, so you still bring in a bit of both, making it much more difficult to itemize against. And that already the clip right there you saw the true power of AD Varus mid and just really how annoying and strong it can be. Like I said the range on his Q is actually longer than Zara's Q both at the beginning and at the end of the channel. The damage on his Q mid game especially is very very high as long as you're not severely behind. You also go for a cooldown build so that you can simply spam the Q as often as possible. Oh and by the way here's a neat little trick with his Q. As you're charging the Q it doesn't look like the Q is actually on cooldown but the cooldown of the Q starts as you begin charging it up not as you fire it. So the trick is to use your Q, charge it up as you're out of range of your opponent, fire it near the last second of the charge time of the Q, and then as you finally do fire it, the Q cooldown will only be about 3 two and a half seconds, and you can fire another one very quickly. He also brings in nice CC with his E ability being the slow and grievous wounds, his ultimate being a potentially AoE type CC, probably one of the best wave clears of any AD champion. Constant barrage of poke when you're sieging or doing team fights, really hard to play against, and overall I think it's so much fun. But like I said at the beginning of the video, guys this is truly something you really have to just experience for yourself to understand how strong it really is. However the cons of this Varus mid is the fact that he is of course very immobile. His main form of damage for half the game being his Q is his skill shot and his E and his ultimate are also skill shots. You also do the tier of the goddess build for mid lane Varus because you need the mana but it takes a bit longer to ramp up. And at the end of the day he is still mainly physical damage. But following all this I think we should finally go into the most important part of the video, the item build. So to start things off you can either go bottle and a few potions or if you feel very confident you can go either longsword or Doran's blade but overall I do recommend the bottle and there are four very core items the first of which being the man immune then you want to get the brutalizer lucidity boost for the 15% CDR because you do want to get 40% CDR as soon as possible the gorgeous last whisper so your Q does even more insane damage and then you want to finish the brutalizer into Yomus to give you that dueling power that you'll eventually need following this if the enemy team doesn't have a whole lot of dive and they're more of a squishy type of team I love going for the Bloodthirster into Infinity Edge just for the raw AD damage for your Q and auto attacks. Trust me, you'll be doing about half HP with one Q to all the squishies. However, if the enemy team does have a lot of tanky champions that will probably be diving on you, Blade of the Rune King is looking pretty juicy. Because of course it does have the extra percent damage and the active effect will help you kite better. But again, make sure you get those core items first before anything else, they're just way too important. Especially the Man Immune for the extra mana to further spam your Q ability while also getting some decent AD stats. And the last two things 
things to look at before I end off the video are going to be the masteries and the runes. So starting it off with the masteries, I go a simple 2109. I mean, if you want to change it up, be my guest, but this is what I personally run. For the rune page, I did do some research and a lot of people like to do this kind of page right here, where you have armor pen reds, you have flat AD quints, you have CDR per level blues, and then for yellows, it doesn't really matter. Right now, I'm doing armor per level yellows. However, you can go flat armor, you can go flat HP, or you can go HP per level. But I have seen some pros instead of having flat AD quints, have flat attack speed quints. Personally, I enjoy the flat AD quints more, but again, it's up to you. But that is about it for this video, guys. I mean, AD Spellcaster mid Varus bringing the best of both worlds, having the huge, crazy long range poke like a Zerath with his Q ability, while also being able to do a lot of damage with his auto attacks mid to late game, acting like a true ADC. So you pretty much have everything you would want out of a mid lane type champion, the crazy poke and the crazy siege damage, while still having the power to do a late game. Again, guys, if you don't believe me, you just gotta try it out for yourself. I mean, I also used to think this was just horrible and why would I ever wanna play this over the many other options? I tried it and I'm in love with it. But again, guys, if you did enjoy the video or found it very informative or useful, please do throw in a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you have not yet, and also check out my other videos if you haven't. But as usual, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Try this build out in a normal game with your friends or just by yourself, and then I'll see you for the next one as well. Peace.